ABC 57 News starts right now. Covering South Bend, Elkhart, and all of Michiana, this is ABC 57 News at 530. It's decision day after months of campaigning. Today, the American people will choose the next president. Straight ahead, everything you need to know before heading to the polls. And some South Bend warehouse workers say their employer is mixing politics with paychecks. Details on what they're calling inappropriate political pushing. Plus, it's still pretty early this morning, but already the first presidential election results are in, and it may surprise you. Oh my, there's something to wake you up. <laughs> Overnight, the seven remaining contenders on ABC's Dancing with the Stars took to the ballroom floor in a series of complex fusion dances. The judges were wowed, earning the pair some of their highest scores. Topping the leaderboard is former Olympic gymnast Sean Johnson. She and her partner scored a 30 for their routine. At the bottom of the pack is Kirstie Alley with a score of 24 points. There will be no elimination this week. and The results will be preempted on election night. Dancing with the Stars picks back up, though, next next Monday night at 8 right here on ABC 57. Tom, don't say it. I know you're going to talk about my girl, Kirstie Alley. She's still hanging in there, though, and I think that's what counts. Well, the, the, the fusion there was kind of interesting, especially the early part. You had uh, some smoke machines. Oh, and, the guy with his shirt and, off? And, and yeah. that, and then you had Kirstie Alley in some sort of Victorian well. I, there, <laughs> that's an interesting fusion, I'd have to say, for, for a night. Hoosiers will also choose a new senator, congressman, and governor today. The polls are now open. Let's turn to ABC 57's Eric Stelzer for a look at how things are going this morning right here in Michiana. He joins us live on Ironwood Drive where Democratic Senator candidate Joe Donnelly is expected to drop by soon. Hey Eric. Hey Keith, well I just moved outside the room where people were voting and just a few minutes ago there, this wall here was just lined with people of, uh, that were going to go inside and vote. Now I was just told that Senator, Senator uh, candidate Joe Donnelly will be here in about five minutes or so to cast his vote. If you are heading out to vote today, you definitely do want to head out early. This is a big election, a presidential election, which usually means more people out in the streets and more people feeling polling places just like this. Now, this election, a big one for Hoosiers. Right now, the local candidates for Senate are neck and neck in the polls. Democratic candidate Joe Donnelly is favored in the latest Howie DePomp poll over Republican Richard Murdoch at 47 to 36 percent, with Andrew Horning at 6 percent. Now, in the race for governor, Republican Mike Pence has a 47 to 40 lead over Democrat John Gregg. That also comes from a recent Howie DePomp poll. And one more race to look out for is the one for the 2nd District congressional seat between Democrat Brendan Mullen and Republican Jackie Lewerski. Now, we'll be looking for Joe Donnelly very soon. We're going to get an interview with him and have the latest information for you coming up later in our morning newscast. Reporting live in South Bend, Eric Stelzer, ABC 57 News.